Well, the advice that former uh, Spur got from, let me start that over. Well, the advice Coach Pop gave to former Spur Monty Williams about handling playoff pressure is paying off. Phoenix Suns head coach now leading his team to the NBA Finals. The Suns beat the Clippers 130 to 103, winning the Western Conference Finals four games to two. The Clippers, of course, without another former Spur, Kawhi Leonard. Chris Paul leading all scores with 41 points, getting in the face there. He's heading to the Finals for the first time in his 16-season career. The Suns last made the NBA Finals in 1993 when they were led by Charles Barkley. They, that team lost to Michael Jordan and the Chicago Bulls in six games. The Eastern Conference Series still unsettled. The Hawks and Bucks have two games apiece, and the Bucks are missing a major player, two-time MVP Giannis Antetokounmpo. He's listed as doubtful for tonight's Game 5. Atlanta's Trey Young is also uncertain, sitting out Game 4 with a bone bruise in his right foot. Meanwhile, Clint Capella also questionable with right eye inflammation after taking an elbow to the face in game four. So many injuries in the NBA this season. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, no injuries here, we hope. The 4th of July fun is starting a little early for SA Live. And that makes all the sense in the world, doesn't it? They are kicking off the celebration with games you can play in your backyard. Hi, Fiona and Jen. Hey there. Hi. That's right. It is time to get your game face on. And Mike Moody from Game See You joins us. And this is just a sampling, right? This is a little bit of what we have in store for you today. So this is Slingshot. Okay. It's, it's a new version of just try to try to get them all out of your quadrant. So I want them to disappear. Make the come pucks on, go through. Come on. Oh, come on, Jenna. There you oh, go. Oh, yes. like You're not playing against anyone. You should be winning right now. There's I, no one against you. You know, the greatest opponent, my greatest opponent is myself. Oh, oh, okay, oh, so that's that right shot. Okay, we this got close enough. This is one of many enough. games, though, right? This We're is gonna just one of the fun here. backyard things. We have ladder golf, redneck golf, whatever you want to call Ooh. it. You know how you do it. You just throw it. And you get it to get it to catch there. Okay. Try to go in the middle one. The middle one's more points. Oh, there you go. Like and the bottom one's good. Oh. Not bad. Went right. for the easy one on the top. Oh. And Fiona struck out. But good, that was a good attempt. That was and a good attempt. From the backyard to yes. video games. Yes. Do you have a favorite video game? Do you have one? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> so let us know what your favorite video game to play is at SA Live Case Out on Facebook and Twitter. Oh, look at this incredible creation. It's a taste of summer sweets with fun designs from a new Braunfels bakery that has summer events for kids. Yes, and we are going to get to meet one of those bakers as well. Lots of great things coming up on SA Live. All right, a last look at your forecast. A lull in rain chances in the next couple of days, but then some scattered thunder showers work back into the forecast over the holiday weekend and into the middle part of next week. Just keep in mind, no severe weather is expected, but if you're outdoors this weekend celebrating with family and friends and you hear some thunder, just take everyone inside to make sure everyone stays safe. But this is a really nice weather pattern to be in for this time of year. We could easily be very hot and very dry. No, yes. don't say yeah. it. <laughs> yes. We'll take this. Thanks, Definitely. Katie. <laughs> it was great being here with you, Katie, and Myra, and everyone today. And we're glad we could all be here together. This is a <laughs> rarity at noon, right? Mm -hmm. Thanks so much for watching. For all of us here at KSAT 12, we're glad you're with us this noon. SA Live starts right now. Today on SA Live, we take you out to the Hill Country for views, brews, and food. Plus, loaded bagel sandwiches. We head inside this food truck to see what makes these sandwiches so special. And a taste of some summer sweets with fun designs from a new Braunfels bakery that has summer events coming up for kids. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from historic Market Square. This is SA Live. Well, we are geared up for fun and games this 4th of July weekend. Good afternoon, I'm Fiona Borostiza alongside Jen tobias Drusky in for Mike Osterhage, and we have got some incredible games to show you today. So I'm gonna get started here while Jen heads on over because she's gonna show you even more family game fun coming up. But joining me right now is Lindsay Moody with Games To You. And what are we in front of right here? This is incredible. This is our Games To You Mo Mercedes Mobile Entertainment Theater. It has six television stations on it. We've got Wii's, Xboxes, and Playstations that you can play. We work with all age groups, little kids to full grown adults. So we have Xbox, did I already say that? PlayStation and we. Um, yeah, so, all right, so you've got Xbox, 
PlayStations, all right? And about how many games available for folks? Oh, you can play over 100 video game choices. We have six going on at a time, and you can change them out as much as you want and play all kinds of things. Okay. And it goes beyond this because there's something inside, right? There are. We've got three more TV stations inside where it's air conditioned is the best part. I love Laser that. lights, fog machine. Wow. Oh, my goodness. So we've got three more screens in here, right? Yeah, we've got three more television stations in here. So we've got three different more games you can play at a time. Um, these are Xbox and PlayStation. We've got the laser lights going and the air conditioning on. Now, you provide even more games than this, right? And I believe our Jen Tobias Strusky has got some more to show off while yeah. I play some of this. Hey there, Jen. It looks so fun, Fiona. Yes, I'm ready to play. Can you guess what we're playing? I have Mike Moody here with games to you as well. Joining me, and this is just a sample that we have. What do we have here? Mike? Absolutely. What was Putt Putt Golf, of course? We can bring. Putt Putt Golf? Absolutely. We have multiple different courses and holes. So these are just a sample of two. You get our dreaded number, course number one, windmill. So see if you can get through the okay. windmill without uh, getting blocked by our, our blades here. That was oh. a good, good oh. attempt. Good attempt. Let's try again. I'll try, try again. again. And you're going to try too? Str right on the tee. Okay. Uh huh. And I'm going to try to go up the ramp into the sunshine there. Oh, oh I missed it. So two. cool that you bring these to any occasion so people can rent these, correct? Yes. Backyard, backyard, front yard, school, church, whatever. It's just about, it's about bringing out the fun. We host it with you. We don't drop off. So we run the whole event for you. This All is right. Putt-putt well, golf. I'll put this just down. Just drop that down. And Fiona has joined us now. Yes. This is another one of the fun games. Oh, we know what this is. You take, <laughs> the, you take the blocks out until the tower falls, and if it falls on you, on your removal, then you lose. Got that. It so can be a speed gym. game. It can go as slow as you want, but you got the idea of it. This is just uh, one of those. Oh, oh, close. Oh. <laughs> and you tell, right. you tell me you have a warehouse just full of have, different we, games. This is just a exactly. sample, we tiny sample. Make, we want to appeal to as many people as possible, old and young. So that was Jenga. Now, of course, Ooh, we have more. tailgate toss or cornhole uh -huh. or whatever you want to call it. It's get it in the round circle and you, oh, that was close. That's a point. Come on, Fiona. A point each. Oh, that was Come awesome. on, Fiona. Get right in there. Uh, two to one, two to one, oh. Jen's three to one. I need a cocktail to get better. <laughs> we have a winner, three to one, Jen. Nice, nicely done, nicely done. Okay, now how did you get started with Games to You? Well, we're known for our video gaming theaters. You know, that, the Mercedes, that orange Mercedes gaming theater you just saw, that's kind of how we got into it. And then we just expanded from there, laser tag, all this fun stuff. And so, you know, we can really bring whatever you want out uh, from our warehouse. We have inflatables, we have, we have rock walls, and go ahead. I'll tell you what, Fiona needs to try at the windmill. Let's give, this, let's give you a, 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 there you go. Okay. So 545 Game, G-A-M-E gets us, and we can get on a calendar and, oh! oh yeah. First nice shot! Try. First shot, ringer. Okay, let's Beautiful. see if you can do that again. I think that was luck. Two for two. Uh, no. Okay, if you do this a third time with the red ball, you get to no, take this. You get to take this home. Now, now I'm thinking about it. Home. You Come guys. on, Fiona. Oh, oh, block oh. blocked by the blade, denied. And so, you go all over South Texas, really, right? You yeah, we do. So. We're based by the airport in a warehouse, and we travel games to you. Love so it. we just re reinvented over the years. We've been in business for 11 years, over 10,000 parties and events. So we didn't have this stuff when we started. We had that cool gaming theater and laser tag and human hamster balls. But now <laughs> we listen to our customers and they go, why don't you try to get this or this? Go to an annual trade show every year that has all the cool stuff. So our warehouse just keeps growing. And of course, if people want to cool down, there's there's ways to do that too, right? Well, water activities. Maybe in August will come out for you guys. Right? Big, you know, Huge water slide, 35 foot water slide with a pool at the end, foam pits. We have these U launcher catapults that will launch water balloons 100 yards. Oh, wow. We need Mike in for this one because yes. he'll be our target. Yes. We can run yes. back and forth. Yes, we can just have him run. It's like a duck going back and forth. So, just, just a bunch of things. So, wet, dry, cold. Lots you know. of fun. Yeah.
<laughs> All right. And tell folks one more time how to get a hold of you five for an four, event or a party. 545-GAME or GamesToYou.com. We will answer every time you call. All right. Mike Moody, owner of games to you thank you so much for your time. For more information, all you have to do is head to our website, SALive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. All right. So now it's time to ask about the... Oh, we'll go back to that later. We're going to ask about the favorite video game, but we are heading out now to Bernie. Okay, we're going to do. We're going. To, we're going to. <laughs> okay, you were right. You were, we're right, pausing you were right. the drinks. That was just a sneak peek. But yes, we want to know what is your favorite video game, Fiona? Do you have one? Absolutely, Super Mario Kart. Hands down. Is that what you're playing out there? Yeah, I was okay. trying to. Yes. Uh, okay, what about you? Tetris. I mean, oh, does that count? Tetris. Does that count? It yes, counts, it right? counts. We have the retro games. We do have oh. Tetris and Centipede and Pac-Man. Miss Pac-Man. Oh, you can Pac play that in an Xbox now. Do you they have a favorite, Mike? Look at that. Favorite? I, I, I can't. I can't say. There's just too many of them. It's too many. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's like your favorite child, right? right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. So They're let us fun. know at SA Live Case out on Facebook and Twitter what your favorite video game is. We may see some of those a little later in the show. Well, we get two rounds for the price of one segment on this Thirsty Thursday. That's right. We are taking you north north of San Antonio to Bernie for some great food and some delicious drinks. Tusculum is known for their light beer choices, plus some Instagrammable menu items. Let's go inside. Wow, so we are in the brew house and Chipper Matthews is one of the operating partners. Tell me about what people can experience when they come here. We have a lot of space here at Tusculum. So we're dog friendly. We have a very big beer garden. We have live music outside every Friday and Saturday from 5.30 to 8.30. Our top selling beers are our Big Tex Blonde, which is kind of like a Hefeweizen. And we have a Lion's Side Kolsch. It's about the hardest beer to keep on sometimes. And it's a just a light, easy drinking beer. And now for the menu items trip. This looks amazing. Tell me about all the food we have here. Starting over here, we have our popper sandwich, which is gonna be a jalapeno popper. We grill our jalapenos with a cream cheese spread on it. Kind of in the center, our kind of centerpiece is our charcuterie board that works very well on social media posts. And we have uh, two types of meats, four types of cheeses, a little bit of an olive medley in the middle. We have a New York hoagie, a uh, really big club sandwich, and then our two salads, our best selling salad, our shrimp avocado, and then our newest salad, the Mediterranean. Bernie's for beer, grab a pint from us. We don't have competitors in brewing, we have compadres, so grab a pint from some of our compadres down the street and, uh, and enjoy, uh, enjoy Bernie, because it's for beer. From whiskey stouts to the Bernie Blonde, Cibolo Brewing Company is serving up an array of craft beer with a bonus farm to market menu. Did I mention they have the cutest front porch? Let's go check it out. Fresh is an adjective that we adhere to pretty strictly here. So we bake all of our bread, all of our burger buns the night before. Uh, we make all of our mayo, mustard, and ketchup in-house. All of our proteins are from Texas, antibiotic-free, hormone-free. Uh, so it's it's truly a scratch kitchen. Got it. What's one of the customer favorites on the menu? Uh, the goat burger is very, very popular. It's about uh, it's about a mountain of a burger. It's topped with onion rings and a house-made uh, pimento cheese. Bernie Blonde is it's the number one seller every single day. It's a great beer whether you're new to craft beer uh, or you're a seasoned beer lover and connoisseur. Uh, the staff favorite is the Creekside IPA right here. That's a West Coast IPA, very piney and citrusy, very hoppy. You can enjoy the swing on the front porch or you can sit inside while people watching and enjoying whew, some delicious food. Check out this burger. And in the back, more patio space, more seating and tons of games. They also have live music on the weekends. We're located on Main Street here in Bernie and we want people to feel comfortable like they're on vacation in Main Street in a small town. So we're not here to turn tables and get people in and out quickly. Uh, whether you're here for a beer with friends and that ends up turning into a couple hours of drinking with friends or you're here for a date or a dinner with the family or you see some people and you want to swap tables or join them that's just that's why we're here for more on Cibolo Creek Brewing Company and Tusculum just head over to salive.com click the as seen mm -hmm. on SA Live Tab. all right later on in the show uh, we feature a Texas artist that's releasing a new album this weekend more details to come 
And next we see how this food truck is gaining popularity one bagel sandwich at a time. All right, well, this food truck is gaining popularity with its wood-fired bagels and sourdough sandwiches, and you'll find it parked over at Broadway News. We catch up with the owner and head baker at Wild Barley Kitchen Co. to learn about their bagel-making journey. The concept of Wild Barley came about as uh, my partner and I were graduating from college and we decided to go off and learn our respective industries and we came back together about seven years later and started building this trailer. All of our products are wood-fired sourdough based, so our pizzas are where we began. Uh, we made a whole bunch of pizzas at different breweries around town and then progressed into making sandwiches via bagels and a sourdough bread as well. Everything we do is leavened with sourdough bread, so we use no commercial yeast. Everything is uh, cooked on a wood-fired brick oven. The wood-fired oven, since it was our first one, took about three months. Uh, the whole trailer took about a year to build. There are characteristics you can extract from your product that you can't get if you're using a normal deck oven. The future for Wild Barley will be growing into a brew pub later this year. Uh, so we are currently renovating the old taco garage spot and we'll be opening our doors hopefully sometime in the fall. So every Tuesday I go out and I make the bagel dough itself. Um, it, we have to have a 48 hour fermentation process so we make it on Tuesday it's ready to bake by Thursday and the process of baking the bagels is I have to come in at four o'clock every morning and um, by five o'clock, the fire has to be on ready and our initial temperatures is between 420 and 450. So it could develop a crust. And the difference between like a regular oven and our wood fire oven is the aromas and the characteristics. Um, we, we get that wood flavor in and then like from a, an actual oven, it's just all soft. Our bagels have crust on them. So it's very phenomenal once you take a bite out of it. It's really good. We make um, a variety of bagels. We have uh, my personal favorites is cinnamon cranberry. We have a rosemary sea salt, garlic and onion, white sesame, black sesame. Obviously it's a harder process for like a wood brick oven. Um, it's hard but it's, it's like you have to be dedicated, you have to have the passion and drive for it because this is not a job for everybody. Um, I love it. Uh, I love waking up at three o'clock in the morning when everybody's all asleep. It's just it's a different type of mindset um, and I grind. I grind it every day. The sandwiches we're making today will be the Cali. a classic BEC bacon, egg, and cheese. As well as a green veggie. We'll also be making two lunch sandwiches, the Hot Club of SA and the Ham and Four Cheese. Come check us out sometime soon. Uh, we're here at Broadway News for the next couple months. We're open from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. Thursday through Sunday, and then we're also open Friday evenings from 4 o'clock to 8.30 or sellout for the pizza service. Follow us on Instagram uh, at Wild Barley Kitchen Co. Uh, we have everything there. You can also order online there. Look wow. at that bagel um, sandwich. I'm drooling Stop over it. here. <laughs> they definitely take their bagels very seriously. Mm -hmm. And don't forget, they make wood fired pizzas as well. So head over to salive.com, click the as seen on SA Live tab for more information. Yum. All right, later on, we're becoming the bakers. Cakes Couture is here to make some goodies and talk about their summer classes for kids. And Texas musician Zach Person performs a new song for us where you can see him live this weekend. Austin-based artist Zach Person has a brand new record out with an official release party here in San Antonio this weekend. Nice. He also recently announced his first European tour scheduled for late summer. He plans to visit the Netherlands, Germany, Sweden, Denmark, Belgium, and the United Kingdom with a September 13th debut at the infamous Black Heart Nightclub in London. Here is his original song, Can't Stop Running.
Person, San Antonio LP release show this Saturday, July 3rd at Sam's Burger Joint. Doors open at 8 p.m. and music starts at 9 with Becca Kelso opening. And for more information on Zach Person, head over to SALive.com. Click the As Seen on SA Live tab. All right, stick around because Zach has another original performance later in the show. And Cakes Couture is here to make some delicious summer sweets. That's next on SA Live. <laughs> Welcome back to SA Live. Well, Ron an owner of Cakes Couture in New Braunfels, joins us with some delicious sweets for us to try. Yes. I mean, these look incredible. Don't they? I, 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 okay, so you've done kind of the, you know, the first part here. Right, right. Okay, but this is what we're going to... This is what we're making. Okay. So let's get started. We can All right. talk as we go. We're going to grab okay. our deep green. Deep green. We're okay. going to put a nice thin... A thick line on the bottom. Okay, here we go. <laughs> there you go. I'm just following you. Uh huh. And just keep putting it around the cake. Okay. And now we're gonna move up to our lighter green. Okay. And then the lighter green. Uh huh. And so, so this is this is really summery. It is very summery. Mm -hmm. That's what I was just about to say. Mm -hmm. This gives you the summer feels for sure. Um, you, Cutting. I'm still trying to work. It's okay. My, my I'm gonna turn your out. yep. I'm gonna turn Thank your turntable. You. There you go. Okay. At the same time. Here we go. Perfect. Keep going. Okay, there we go. <laughs> now, it's yeah. coming. now it's coming. So okay. these are so much fun. They're so easy. We have um, our kids' academies. And this kids is like classes. a kid is doing it over here. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> it's fun. Okay. <laughs> now we're going to go. You can go with white next. Just okay. a nice thin layer of white. And then you'll put your pink on right after that. Okay. So white next, and then uh -huh. you have classes for kids, right? We do. So we have a pastry academy going on right now. Um, we have kids that stay with us for about three months. Um, they come in once a week, and we teach them how to bake from scratch, decorate everything. Okay. So what you're doing right here and what we're doing right now, they are able to walk out and make their own two-tier cake by the end of it. Ooh. 
<laughs> there you go. <laughs> I'm gonna snag your white. You're okay. getting it. You're so close. Okay. It's professional over here. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. That's the thing is having fun with it because remember we can eat our mistakes. So yes, this is full of mistakes over here. <laughs> That's okay. That's uh -oh. okay. So once you get everything mm -hmm. just about on there, mm -hmm. you're going to take your spatula and you're going to rub it in. Okay. You don't want to move up and down. You just want to move side to side. And then we're going to scrape that icing off on your bowl. And then we're going to move upwards. Very slowly. Very okay. slowly. Okay. Take your time. <laughs> so you brought a young baker with you today, right? Can you I tell us did. a little bit about him? Because so, yeah. he'll be baking with us in a little bit. He will. So his name is Jack. And Jack started with us on the Pastry uh, Academy, the level one. He has advanced and now he is only 11 years old. However, he's so advanced, he went to this level two class with kids that are 16, 17, and 18 years old. And he definitely <laughs> is, you know, is he runs the show? Okay, he's gonna, he's, he he'll do much better work than than my work. Here. I mean, this yeah. is why I don't make cakes you at did home. a great job. <laughs> <laughs> she just calls me. She's like, okay. Rhonda. <laughs> so this flamingo mm -hmm. here, by the way, absolutely incredible. Isn't it beautiful? And we're gonna do a little mini version yes. of it, right? Yes. So um, we're gonna take our cupcakes. I left you some pink icing, and my cake isn't beautiful right now either. So uh, we're look, good. We're, we're good. Put it next to mine, and it'll look amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab. Um, um, our cupcake and mm -hmm. we're going to take our tip that has the star tip on there okay and we're just going to kind of pipe on some icing however you want you just want some ruffles they're a okay. lot like this yes just like that uh-huh okay. just keep going I do it better but I just got to have it right here yeah there we go okay and then all you're gonna do is you're just going to put the little head out of fondant that I made on there I have some gold sprinkles if you want to put some gold sprinkles yeah, and then I even have these cute little glasses you can put them in. Oh, look at that. <laughs> so do you have any tips for anyone who might be baking at home this 4th of July weekend? Yes, um, a couple of tips. Make sure, oh my God, it's not going in there. Make sure to, one, not leave your cakes outside. They will melt. <laughs> they, <laughs> they will, they will melt. It's not even a question. Keep they will them melt. cool. Uh -huh. Keep them cool. Keep them indoors. Make sure to stick with a lot of like the fruit flavors, like lemon, strawberry, things like that. They're going to enjoy it. Um, don't be afraid to try new flavors. Mm -hmm. um, right now we have a pina colada um, and Miami Vice and a um, mimosa cake that we're making. Oh my gosh. It's delicious. So is that some of the popular ones yes, there? Yes, those oh. are the popular ones. Okay. All yes. right. So tell folks how they can order from you. So you can check us out at www.cakescouturenb.com. Um, you can give us a call at the bakery if you'd like. But yeah, we have everything that you need from wedding cakes all the way down to confections and the cases any day. All right. Well, we are going to hear from this young baker in just a little bit. But for all that and more on Cakes Couture, just head to our website and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. All right. Still ahead, as we mentioned, Rhonda's young student baker joins us. We're going to see what the apprentice has learned from the master. <laughs> And another song by Austin musician Zach Person is next. <laughs> oh, oh, look at Dusty the go. The of the job, That's right? good, Dusty. right? It's good? <laughs> is that, a, oh, there's, there's the, the eyebrow. Says That's it good. All. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, well, Austin musician Zach Person performs another song for us. And once again, his San Antonio LP release show this Saturday, July 3rd at Sam's Burger Joint Doors open at 8 p.m. We're hearing one of his original songs, Send Me Away. Take it away, Zach. <laughs> Temperature's cold I've got nothing to fix Just a picture to hold Lucky I was holding my breath in When you breathe me out Into the night
Up next, this kid has got some skills in the kitchen. Jack joins us to show off his baking. That's coming up. Welcome back to SA Live. Jack Walker, Cake Couture Jr. Baker is here to show us how it's done. Welcome. Thank you. <laughs> how old are you, Jack? I'm 11 years old. Wow. Years old. So how long have you been baking? I've been baking for a few years now. I started when me and my mom used to watch baking shows all the time. <laughs> and one day I thought to myself, I want to do that. Wow. And then my mom told me one day about the Baking Academy and I wanted to join it so bad and I joined it and the first day I was a little nervous because at that time I wasn't super big in baking, I didn't know that much and then I learned so much. I got done with the level one class and she brought me into the level two class with 16 to 18 year olds. And that oh was, my gosh. And we can see why. Yes. yes. Look at this. Mm -hmm. What are we making? We are going to be topping creme brulee. Ooh, wow. That's amazing. Okay, that, you guide us through. That's okay. not an easy dessert. <laughs> All right. So uh, we are going to be getting one creme brulee and we're going to get our sugar and we're going to get about a pinch of sugar and we're going to just put it on top of ours. And we're going to need to get a good bit, but it depends on how you like yours. So the more you put, the more crystallized it's going to be on top. Ah. So it's always up to the person that's making it. So you can put a lot, you can put a little, it's always up to you. Okay. So now we're going to get our torch and about this high above it, okay. we're going to press it down and torch Ooh, it. Beautiful. We're going to want to keep it until it starts bubbling a little bit and we're going to get like a golden brown color. That's what we want. So we're going to get it like about that. So why did you choose this recipe? I why chose do you like this it? recipe because I really enjoy doing this and I feel like it sounds really complex, but it's really not and it's a lot of fun to do and it can, it can, it's, Sounds very fancy to make, but it's really easy and very fun, and I really enjoy it. It's so very this is one of your favorite things to make. Yes, then? it's yes. very, it's very good. Okay, so what's our next step? And so our next step today, I'm going to be showing y'all how to make a s'mores topping. But today, y'all can do whatever y'all like. Okay. So first, we're going to grab our graham crackers over here, and put just how however much you want. So you can put just a little bit, or you can put a lot. I'll put about that much, and y'all can do. I love the little want. s'mores twist on mm -hmm. this. It makes it more like summer. <laughs> yes, right? and it's like a kid's creme brulee. And with those, I love it. you're gonna put some. You know your audience. <laughs> those on top. You're gonna put some of those on top. Okay. Do you want some? Sure. Thank you. <laughs> And you said your brother also cooks, right? Yes. He, he does more of the, a cooking uh -huh, aspect of and it. And you're the baker. Yes. That's really cool. Mom and dad are lucky, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so if someone's making creme brulee, what do they need to remember? You need to remember, so you're going to be cooking your creme brulee in water in the oven. So you're going to want to be checking it every once in a while so the water doesn't evaporate. So if it evaporates, you're going to want to refill that back up quickly and put it back in the oven because you don't want that water, there should be no water in it or it will kind of change how it comes out. So you're going to want to be careful about that. And then once you have all of that down and you can do whatever you want, you can toast Ooh, your marshmallows, you can put chocolate on it, which you have oh, right yes, over there. Has so that. You oh, I do. Top it off. Mm -hmm. Oh, I just saw that. And okay. then you're going to show us how to properly yes. do the piping on that. Okay, cup. so on this today, we I'm going to show you how to do a nice summer style. Okay. So with this tip, it's going to be a rosette tip. And with piping bags, you don't want to have all of it. So you're just going to get a little bit at the bottom, twist it, and then you're going to go on the side of your cupcake. You're going to pipe a rosette. Beautiful. And then you could do that. And then now, after that, we're going to come over with this right here. And there's going to be a few empty spaces and you're just gonna want to pipe and then pull out. And you can make little flowers wherever you'd like. Beautiful. You'd right. only want to do Stuff, about Jack. two because you don't want to fill up all the space because we're gonna do lots of other 
colors. Oh, oh other okay. colors. I'm going to let Jack finish mm -hmm. this, but there, if you would like more information mm -hmm. on the Academy there with, with Cakes Couture, head over to EssayLive.com and click the As Seen on Essay Live tab, and we're going to continue here, right, Jack? Okay. It looks beautiful. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Tomorrow on the show, Make Your Meal the Star of your weekend. A local pitmaster is sharing easy ways to take your summer backyard barbecue to the next level. Plus, looking for some indoor summer fun? We've been checking out a local spot where families have been building their skating skills for more than 50 years. That's tomorrow. We might give it a try here on set, too. All right, earlier we asked you, what's your favorite video game? And Nathan says Animal Crossing and Minecraft. Minecraft, my son just got into that. Okay, oh. Ismael Contra, I don't know that. <laughs> yeah, that's an OD. Oh, Ivan, The Legend of Zelda, Link to the Past. Sounds fun. Peter says Sonic the Hedgehog, that was my favorite. Bob says, I have a whole room of my favorite games from yeah. Pac-Man to Galaga, Mortal Kombat to Street Fighter. Oh my, the ultimate man cave right there. Bob, you're so cool. Wow. What was yours again, Fiona? It was Super Mario Kart. Yes, that's fun. <laughs> <laughs> well, we finished off these sweet treats. Thanks so much for watching. And we have lots more fun happening tomorrow. <laughs> Can you tell we have a good time here? <laughs>